Hello there, my friends. It's December 16th, 2016, and it's time for today's big story. Breaking news, breaking news, we have breaking news here from analytics firm Aptopia. They say that Super Mario Run has hit 2.85 million downloads in its first day. This is astonishing news. Oh, oh, wait, wait, breaking news. We have breaking news from analytics firm App Annie. They say that Super Mario Run has broken 3.5 million downloads in its first 14 hours. This is absolutely unbelievable. Oh, oh, hold on, breaking news, breaking news from analytics firm Sensor Tower. They say that Super Mario Run has hit 5 million downloads in its first 24 hours and it's brought in more than 5 million dollars. This is insane, I cannot believe this. Here's the real breaking news for you. Nobody knows what the hell the game did as far as downloads in the first day and people are trying to figure it out. There's firms that say they track data and they have ways of knowing how much uh, a game has been downloaded and uh, as you can see, we have three different firms here who have very different numbers. So we have no idea what's really going on, and we won't until Nintendo or Apple come out and say what actually happened. And this craziness goes hand in hand with Nintendo's stock, which after Super Mario Run's launch, their stock dropped almost 5%. Uh, investors are, are crazy, and analysts are crazy. Uh, it seems like a lot of investors didn't realize that Super Mario Run was like a, a $10 one-time fee instead of microtransactions, and when revenue wasn't top grossing right away they were like oh we gotta get out this is terrible nobody's getting the game the game is the top downloaded app in 80 countries and it's the top grossing app in 30 of those countries uh, and that's just for today so like uh, this reactionary kind of stuff just blows my mind uh, especially when you're talking about stock and investors and stuff i mean i could be really naive maybe they see a whole different picture that i don't but uh, I feel like more times than not, they're just not well aware of the products that the company they're following is invested in making. So, I don't know, that's just me. So we're trying to report on how much the game made and how many times it's been downloaded, uh, but, but we don't know. So there's been multiple updates throughout the day and we've been keeping tabs of this on Go Nintendo. Let's see what you guys have to say. Uh, Immediate Muffin says, It'll plateau quickly. Pokemon Go gained momentum due to, let's just call it a phenomenon, honestly. Super Mario Run isn't going to be like that. If you were going to buy it, you probably bought it day one. There's not going to be a lot of people on the fence to sway over a bandwagon or jump on. Mostly people just waiting for it to be available on their device. Well, uh, I mean... I don't know, I think it's a little different on mobile. Uh, you know, traditional gamers certainly were waiting for day one and they want to hop on it, but... Um, prior to the game coming out, we heard that 20 million people have signed up for notifications for the game. Uh, and that was early on, so I'm sure even more joined in before the game actually launched. And you have to wonder, let's just keep it 20 million. How many of those 20 million are like die-hard gamers who are like, I gotta get the game as soon as it comes out? Or how many of them were like, oh, I'll check it out when, when I get the notifications and, and, you know, I'll get to it later. Maybe I'll check it out this weekend or I'll talk to some friends about it. I just want to know what's out there. So uh, the App Store is a different beast from traditional game retail, be it digital or uh, retail. So I'm not quite sure. I think we need like the first month of numbers before we really get into uh, the success of Super Mario Run and how it compares to more traditional games. All right, everybody, that's today's big story for December 16th, 2016. Thanks for watching this video and checking out the others and subscribing and liking and sharing and all that good stuff. I really do appreciate it. Uh, special note, there's a new episode of Parents Play today. My parents played Super Mario Run and I recorded that and you can check it out right now. I'll put the link in the description. Um, and as you know, I won't be around Saturday and Sunday, but I will be back here Monday, so I hope to see you here too. Uh, have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you on Monday. Hey guys, RMC here from Go Nintendo. If you like what you saw in the video, why don't you give us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe? We'd love to have you. If you want to see what else we're up to, you can check out GoNintendo.com for 24-hour Nintendo news. You can visit us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash GoNintendo. You can check us out on Twitter at Twitter.com slash GoNintendoTweet. And we're even over on Instagram at Instagram.com slash GoNintendo. I put all the links in the description just to make it easier for you guys to follow. Thanks a lot.